public entities make recurring purchases? Well first, we need to understand what exactly is a recurring purchase. It's a purchase made on a routine basis. Some common types of recurring purchases are paper and office supplies, fuel, cleaning supplies, or food. These types of purchases are considered materials and supplies under the public bid law, also known as Louisiana Revised Statute 38-2212.1. Purchases of materials and supplies that are less than $30,000 should be done after getting three or more verbal quotes. Purchases that are $30,000 or more, but less than $60,000, may only occur after obtaining and documenting three or more telephone or fax quotes. Purchases of $60,000 or more must be bid out in accordance with the provisions of Revised Statute 38-2212.1 unless an exception otherwise applies. So where does that leave recurring purchases? Each time a public entity buys office supplies or fuel, it is probably well under $60,000. The public bid law doesn't allow splitting of purchases in order to avoid bidding requirements. So to determine the amount of recurring purchases, the public entity must consider all similar purchases made or expected to be made during the current fiscal year. For example, if the public entity purchases on average $6,000 worth of paper each month, the expected total purchase of paper for the entire fiscal year would be $72,000. That's $6,000 a month times 12 months. That's more than the contract limit of $60,000. So this public entity must bid out its contract for paper supplies unless the purchase is off an existing state contract. Remember, if you want to purchase off an existing state contract, certain procedures do apply you should contact the Office of State Procurement. Here's the telephone number and website for you. Supply contracts for items like fuel that have fluctuating prices should generally be obtained using a price index. Learn more by visiting the legal FAQs at the Legislative Auditor's website at lla.la.gov. This video is for informational purposes only and is not a substitute for legal counsel. Please consult with your attorney before making any decisions.